There are a lot of replacement parts on the older vehicles that are simply unavailable, like the crank cases, the transmission cases. So we wanted to find out how they're producing these. We're here at EB Motorsport in Barnsley and they are making some terrific parts for classic cars, including some incredible Porsches that are here too. But there's a saying around here. What's that saying, James? That they make parts that don't exist. What? <laughs> I don't understand, <laughs> so explain. Well, when you think about it, a 50-year-old car was manufactured 50 years ago. The spare parts, the replacement parts, for that, they're just simply not around anymore. So when they originally started to machine they had to start from scratch and, and reverse engineer things the umc 750 we see behind us was one of the original umcs in the uk and it's the original spec and it was bought specifically to do this brake caliper part and all of it has been manufactured on every the, part every part with say for you know things like like this catch and the pipe work on the back the whole assembly is basically made on this UMC 750 tied up to very tight tolerances and that's why they needed to do it. And I have to say, out of some fairly funky material, they, yes. they, they, it, it's not just a lightweight machine. This, this is capable of, of machining some really, really tricky material, which we'll go into in a second. They push their parts to the limits, don't they? You know, at the end of the day, these are for people who have got the classic cars, but they're racing as well, aren't they? So they're, they're trying to constantly improve on some of those parts individually from technology 50 years ago and pulling that forward. Yeah, and it's not just machining. Um, it's quite clever what they do. So, for example, somebody with a classic Porsche uh, that will have a, a, a crankcase or, or, or a transmission case, mm. for example, the part that's on yeah. here now, this case here, um, that's not up there to be machined. But what will actually happen now is that we'll bring a probing cycle in and they will probe the part. They'll probe for um, uh, concentricity, they'll, they'll probe for surface flatness. Then because it's a five axis machine, they can actually angle it over and probe the whole thing <laughs> to make sure that it's not twisted. And then what they'll actually do is... They get data from that then, they, don't they? get they? a lot of data, then they'll go back and they'll um, uh, press an insert into that. They'll, they'll sweat that insert into that case and then machine it accurately using the data that they previously captured. This this is really clever stuff that not many people are doing. And that's what enables them, well, we, we think nobody else is doing this, and that's mm -hmm. what enables them to produce some stunning, stunning work that uh, we, we've got people close to the business that, that use EB Motorsport and they're blown away by what they can achieve with some really expensive cars. And, and, and that's what it is. They're making one-offs, aren't they, on yep. your machines. One-offs, but very low batches, but high quality. High quality high in value. difficult materials. This is a stainless 17.4 really really horrible stuff to machine and they're 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 holding some tremendous tolerances but because they've reversed engineered it they've 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 probed it first so they'll sweat as i mentioned before they'll sweat this part into that part and then create something special so in your eyes then james sorry just to push you to mm -hmm. the limits here but why do you think they've gone for this machine or why did you suggest this is the machine for them They'd already invested in a Y-axis lathe from Haas, so it was natural to, to come over with the Haas brand, and it is a brand that you can grow into. So five-axis simultaneous capability with the same control and also the ability to talk to a good cam, CAD CAM package. They, they needed a brand that they can work with. They needed a brand that other parts of the equation can work with. It's not just about the machine, it's about the tooling, it's about CAD CAM, it's about their people, it's about their processes, and it's getting those things to line up that create the product at, at, at the end of the day. And that, that's yeah. really why they chose us. And of course, it's, it's something that now they're evolving even further. So uh, one of the beauties about Haas, as we've said time and time again, that control is powerful enough to evolve into other things without having to relearn a whole system. And there's three cars over there. Yep. Which ones do you want? Oof, I'll have the one that begins with a P, please, Bob. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I'll have the nice white one. That's my taste. <laughs>